They just tore up everything. Tore up and stole everything. A dream to help those in need ransacked as the organization tries to help new and pregnant moms who find themselves without a home. On top of an ongoing legal battle with the city of Flint, the House of Esther says this latest obstacle only further delays its mission. TV5's James Felton spoke with the CEO who's putting the blame on the city. Actually, I cried. That's how Yvonne Penton reacted when she saw this. Flint City Councilwoman Tanya Burns provided us with this video taken at the House of Esther, located on Flint's north side. It had been gutted. Penton is its CEO. There's 21 rooms in there, 21 bedrooms, and we had all of the rooms decorated and furnished. All of it's gone, even the doors. Penton tells us the House of Esther had a declaration of occupancy from the city of Flint. Penton also says the city granted them first right of refusal, meaning there was a promise by the city not to put the building up for sale unless the House of Esther had the option to buy it first. Penton says the city broke its promise and locked them out last year. She tells us that paved the way for criminals to take advantage of a building full of supplies for first-time pregnant mothers during and after pregnancy. It's the city's responsibility to secure the building and they failed to do that and as a result we can submit a legal damage report which we had talked our attorney had talked to the city attorney to say you can't evict us unless you go to court and they refused to go to court and evict us have the judge say we have to get out that never happened. For Penton, this project has been in the works for years, and she says she can't understand why the city of Flint is making it so hard for her to help homeless mothers and single fathers. Why shouldn't they have an opportunity to live in a house, be educated, and become part of the community? Reporting in Flint, James Felton, WNEM, TV5. We reached out to the city of Flint for comment. We have not heard back.